Next up, we have John Supan with Navy Cove Oysters. So you just saw Megan's last slide, a fluidized seed in a bottled silo. And um, I introduced that topic to Oyster South, the first, I think it was the first symposium in 2016. And uh, they have become very common in, in hatchery and nursery situations because fluidization of seed has, has benefits over downwelling and upwelling. Uh, oh, that's, this, that's the pointer, I'm costing time. You can make, they're called bottle silos because you can make these out of a Coke bottle, Sprite bottle by cutting off the bottom, slipping it over some acrylic tube and taking a heat gun to it. And you can see, uh, sometimes it looks great, sometimes it doesn't. Also, you can make these by using PVC coupling and acrylic tubing, which um, uh, this picture is compliments of uh, Scott Riker. Um, I liked using commercially available products because uh, uh, produced by Fiberglass Marine Products in Sheldon, Washington. Some of the advantages and disadvantages were is that they had a seam in them like the homemade ones do. And right here, they were clamped on, which when you handled them quite a bit, they tended to wiggle off. So, um, I got to, and on also the, the owner of that company died and they were no longer available. So I first tested out what's called a McDonald fish hatching jar that are used in fish hatcheries to hatch out eggs. And I, feel, and I bench tested this with a, a liter of microculture in some larger seed at Navy Cove, and here's the results. But basically, the, the take-home message there is it's commercially unacceptable because once you start using larger than R2 seed, you had to increase the flow rate to fluidize it, and it wanted to overflow down on the sides. So the answer was, was to team up with a gentleman that lives by here who's in the uh, um, artificial limb business, the prosthetic business, and he went by uh, and saw the silos at uh, Amy Wilbur's and Amy Finelli's hatchery, and he's making these now in concert with me. And they are, they are uh, the, an improvement is, is that they're seamless. We now have a, uh, a threaded connection on the bottom. Oops, one more. A threaded connection on the bottom and, uh, and a, a nice deep spout on top so you can really put the flow through them for larger seed. So uh, they are also available for sale. <laughs> Thank you, John. Appreciate it.